Hey everybody, it is Sunday the 15th or 16th, I have no clue, it's Sunday, um, it's way day, um, I had a rocky week this week to be fair, um, at the beginning of the week, well, through most of the week, to be honest, my back has been really bad. Um, I've got two slip discs and a nerve st stuck in between. Um, so pretty much at any time the doctor said the way I move, I could really hurt myself. Um, and I just had a particularly bad back. I'd gone and cleaned the car and done all sorts. I hadn't been sleeping. I think it was due to my anxiety. It was just going crazy. Um, so I wasn't sleeping. I was in pain. And what do I do? I can't breathe. So... I'm really, really just, as I said last time, like habits and stuff, I'm really trying to break them. Um, so some of the time I did just sit there and go, do you know what, there's chocolate bar there, I'm just gonna eat it. It happens, I'm human, I make mistakes, I move on. Um, I try not to put too much negativity over it because it's just a mistake. You know, I can't do anything about it now, so I just try and move on from it. Um, so, Again, it's, it's just a learning curve to see what to do, but by the third or fourth day of it, I had a, a yoghurt and a banana instead of having a chocolate bar, which for me is just incredible because any, anything for comfort eating is just chocolate. Um, I also seem to have broken the pattern of eating after I eat my dinner. Um, I always have a little yoghurt or something um, after my dinner, and then I would normally just carry on and eating crap. But as I say, after my dinner, no, I'm not eating anything. I seem to have broken that. Um, habit which is great it's again another habit broken that I needed to break um, and I feel good about that I feel good I wake up and then I'm hungry for my breakfast I'm excited to eat it um, I'm actually finding that I'm hungrier for meals now and I'm excited to eat them wherever as before I did some and I really just didn't fancy this didn't want it um, and that's because I'd eaten crap the whole time and just I was full basically um, I'm still trying my best to get through that pattern um, between when I collect Alfie from school and Simon coming home. It is still hard sometimes. I am trying to make sure I just have a healthy snack during that time, maybe some fruit or something, um, have a cup of tea or whatever. Um, I'm usually trying to edit and upload and things like that between that time after Oscar goes to bed anyway. Um, so it really is just self-control and trying to snack right at that point ready for dinner when Simon comes home um but again it's just something that's going to take a while to work through because it is old old habits of just going and snacking on something so I am trying my best as I say I've broken one habit and that's brilliant like I'm really happy with that hopefully I can really stick with it I still feel very very positive I did lose weight this week which I know you're all waiting for me to say I lost two and a half pounds this week so in total I've lost six and a half pounds so I've nearly lost half a stone in two weeks which is amazing I'm totally made up over that I'm really really happy with it without sort of sticking to a diet or a plan or anything like that I'm genuinely just healthy and and trying to break my habits and I think once I get there through breaking my habits I've, I won't have any issues at all I mean like today I haven't had proper breakfast yet but I just got up I weighed myself and I was like oh yeah great cool and then she went on and had a banana and a cup of tea. Didn't think nothing of it, just did it. So I think it really is sticking in. As I say though, last time, my, my morning times are the easiest times. I'm not bothered at all. It's the late afternoon. But like Simon's home today. So I can cook dinner a little bit earlier if needs be, which is fine. I don't even know what I'm doing for dinner today actually. I haven't put anything out of the freezer. I'll figure something out. But um, yeah, so I feel good. I feel positive. I mean that's all you can do is just try and break your habits and um, I don't feel any pressure on myself either because I feel like this time I'm doing it for me I'm not doing it for anyone else so if I don't lose weight then do you know what it doesn't matter to you it shouldn't matter to you or it shouldn't matter to you um it only matters to me so I just feel like I, I feel like I'm really in the mindset to do it this time um I feel really really positive I'm really happy with my weight loss so far and I think it'll do me the world of good to just continue with this. It'll do the kids good as well. I say kids. Oscar eats brilliantly anyway. Alfie, not so much. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy. And I'm really looking forward to the next week to see what next week brings. 
I went down into the next stone bracket this time. Um, and there's Alfie. Alfie, go downstairs, please, babe. Yay. Are you doing dinner? Yeah, go downstairs, please. Um, he always has to pop up and see what I'm doing in case I'm on the phone to someone. Um, I can't even remember what I was saying now. But yeah, I'm excited for the next week and to see what happens. But yeah, I went down into the next stone bracket today, which is always really exciting to see when you go down into the next stone bracket. Um, is what always makes you feel like extra excited because you're going down that stone so it, even though you're not losing the stone but you're going down into the next bracket it just makes you feel awesome so um, but yeah I don't know if anyone's noticed but I've been putting up like my food shop every week as well um, and as I always say if you want to see what I'm eating go on to my Instagram account which is Slimmer Sammy it's not private or anything just go and follow me on there you can see everything if you want to see our daily vlogs then go to Sammy Sprawls on YouTube and you can watch it all there, like what I do with the kids and stuff during the week and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to next week and, and see where this has taken me because I feel good. I need to try and get some more variety in my meals again, but at the same time, I don't, I do, when it comes to shopping, I just can't think and I'm like, oh, I'll just do this, I'll just do that. And I'm, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I feel breaking habits. And it's working for me. This may not work for everyone, but it's working for me. As I say, I haven't had a perfect week. And a lot of those days were quite, well, bad, but not as bad to the extent that they used to be. Like, I would binge all day and it would last for, like, a few days. But this just hasn't. So, I feel good about that. I feel like I've got control. For the time being, anyway, I've got some sort of control over what I'm eating. And for me, that's, that's amazing. So, yeah, that's it for me this week. Um, I'm looking forward to see what I lose next week again I'm not putting any goals on or anything just trying my best and if I don't lose anything I've still done my best to healthy eat but I'm just going to see how I go see what habits I can try and nitpick at and see where I get this week and yeah so good luck to everyone else who is losing weight I know a couple of my family members are trying to lose weight so good luck to them and yeah so I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.